Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to review undetermined coefficients method. Whenever our second order differential equation is given in this form, we go to this method. And here, our equation is not equal to zero, which is non-homogeneous. It is equal to some function g of t, where g of t is either polynomial or exponential or sine cosine or one of the combinations of these three functions. Let's go to example one and see step by step how we solve these kind of problems. Our question is y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals to 9 e to the 2t. Our step one is to find homogeneous equation, which is yh. How do we find homogeneous equation? So we're going to treat the left side as if it is homogeneous equation, which is equal to zero. So the characteristic equation of the left side is r squared, because we have two double prime here minus 2r because we have 1 prime here minus 3 equals to 0. Now we're going to solve for r. So we can factor out here. We don't need quadratic. So it's going to be r minus 3 r plus 1 equals to 0. And from here r is equal to 3 and r is equal to negative 1. Now, our one of the three options is roots are real roots. Whenever we have real roots, our equation is c1 e to the r1t plus c2 e to the r2t. So our homogeneous equation will be c1 e to the r1 is 3t plus c2 e to the negative 1t, which is negative t. So this is our homogeneous equation. So we're done with step 1. Step 2 is to find the particular solution. Particular solution, which is y p, will be, we have again three options here. Our g of t is either polynomial, exponential, or sine cosine or the combinations of one of these three. So here our g of t is 9 e to the 2t. This is our g of t. Okay, so we have here polynomial, which is constant, 9 t to the 0 of power, and we have exponential e to the 2t together. So our generic equation for Polynomial will be the constant. So we can write just a. If it was 9t, then we had to write a t plus b. If it was 9t squared, then we had to write a t squared plus b t plus c. If it was the third power, we would start from the third power to the descending order. So here it is just constant, so a. So what we have written a is just for 9. For e to the 2t, our formula is for exponential function e to the alpha t, e to the 2t. So we're going to copy paste exactly what that is. Because alpha is representing here 2 alpha t, 2t. So our particular solution, I mean particular equation, is a e to the 2t. Now we are going to find the general solution. General solution is put together. So y, which is the general solution, equals to y homogeneous plus y particular. So here 
we need to take the derivative of this function and the second derivative of this function and plug in in the original equation and set it equal to g of t to be able to solve for a. Let's do that. So y prime of p is, so derivative of this function is a e to the 2a e to the 2t and the second derivative of this function is 4a e to the 2t. Our next step is to put them into the original differential equation. Our original differential equation was y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals to 9e to the 2t. Now we are going to substitute. Instead of y double prime, we are going to write 4a e to the 2t minus 2 times Instead of y prime, we are going to write 2a e to the 2t minus 3 times a e to the 2t for y and set it equal to g of t as in the original equation. Now we are going to expand 4a e to the 2t minus 4a e to the 2t minus 3a e to the 2t equals to 9 e to the t e to the 2t here for a e to the 2t cancels for a e to the 2t one is negative one is positive and we can just make them equal to each other because they are the like terms so negative 3a equals to 9. And here we solve a as if we divide both sides by negative 3, a is negative 3 then. Since we found a, we can go ahead, plug in y particular, which is going to be negative 3 e to the 2t. And the general solution will be the homogeneous equation plus particular equation. The homogeneous equation was c1 e to the 3t plus c2 negative t e to the negative t plus, I mean minus 3 e to the 2t. So this is our general solution for this differential equation given.